What's up everybody, Waddle Gaming here, and welcome back to more Fallout 4 Survival Mode Far Harbor. Today we are going to move on with uh, the Far Harbor quests, now that I'm back in here. I'm going to go speak to Cassie Dalton, talk to Brooks about a synth, and I'm going to go search for Howard Dunbar. So I did up uh, Longfellow's cabin between parts, so this is it. It's all nice and defended now, so with that being said, let's go in hop into the water because I'm too lazy to walk around. And let's go speak to Cassie Dalton about the next stage of her quest. Cassie, you crazy old bat. Remember, the island's always watching. Be careful out there. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. Jeez, that was easy. I wasn't looking to get paid. I'm just happy to help you out. You're a good person. I can see that. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. Oh no, not good old Grandpa George. I'm sorry. You must have been very fond of him. Everybody was. But that didn't matter to the island. Oh, no. He was cursed the moment he was born adult. He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land, and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, Holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. Damn straight. That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Good old Grandpa George. Well, I'm not going to do that just yet. That's uh, that's heading up. All the way up to this this area up here. I'll be damned so, if I give up on taking back my land. You do that. Next up, let's Guns, go speak Guns. to Brooks. Have you ready? I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah. Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. Uh, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of attitude check. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless. Looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Okay, then. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry. My nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There are many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth, especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. Well, I'm gonna see. Now that they're both done, I'm gonna go... Gray God? You should go. The whole place is run by robots. Ah, oh, my good old provisioner. Now, I'm not gonna talk to this one yet. She's gonna send me to the Cliff's Edge Hotel. Which I may well do today, but just not quite yet. Now, we have to go search for Howard Dunbar. I haven't been out this way yet. So, there might be a good, some good spots to get some legendaries. 
I just need to find the dude. I think he's just over here behind this house. Hello? Um. Well. Oh yeah, I did actually uh, take out Righteous Authority and replace it with, uh, with this. So let's give this a go. Oh god damn. Okay. Company. Come and get me, you bastard. Come on. Oh, uh, and I also got the meat hook. Come on. Oh. There we go. An unarmed weapon does so much more damage now that my strength is past 10, so... Here's, a uh, poor Howard Dunbar, good old baldy De Howard Dunbar with, uh, with a... Wait, is his leg around here somewhere? Maybe it got eaten. We've got fog condenser components and some bottle caps, so... All we have to do now is just go along and repair these things, and quite amusingly, there was one around from where he got killed. So, repair. There we go. Now there's just another two up... Creeker... B Wait, what? Beaver Creek Lanes? Hold up. I just need to... I need to go do this first. Can't be, uh... Can't be judging and going everywhere. Must repair fog condensers first. Because these things will make the road a little more, uh... A little bit more safe. And collect all the Asta in the world. Because that Acadia, that Synth at Arcadia pays a lot for them. Not as much as technical documents, but uh, it's still good enough. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to be attacked? Oh, yep. Called it. I called it. Too bad they're, they're, they're very shitty basics. Okay, yeah, this, uh, this lever action rifle was a good change. A very, very good change. Right, now that that's done, I see a suitcase out here. I don't... I'm still in hidden. There's no freaking my alert king freaking wading around that water. Now, now that that's all done, I can go see Avery about that quest, but I spotted... Beaver Creek Lanes back here. I would actually like to go in and have a look at the place. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Um, you know what? Ow. Two can play at this game. And there we go. That's the that's the meat hook. I think I'll be using this thing a lot more often. A lot better than uh, a lot better than melee weapons because I can use all my strength rather than relying on the actual damage output, which is nice. There's a trapper up here. Ah, I have got a harpoon gun. I am going to be using them, but just not as regularly because these things weigh a bloody heap. Uh, I upgraded it to a bleeding harpoon. So, might be able to get some more power out of it. So, I will be using this, just not... Not often. Because the harpoons for it are, uh, They're extremely heavy. There's also a red... Oh, hello. Yeah, that's the way to the MS Azalea. I do not want to be going there. Just... Yet. Ah! And find the missing synth is also around here somewhere as well. Can you guys go away? I don't know what Longfellow is complaining about back there. Alright, let's just quickly have a look at this place first. Ah, is that that sign out there? It is. I am actually really damn tempted to just bypass... That's a lot of duct tape. 
I'm actually really tempted to just make a quick bypass out to there and actually see if there is anything, uh, anything out there. All my life, I've never, never been out to that, to that sign. Every time I come and play Far Harbor, I never go out. What the? F I'm not even gonna ask why you're in there. Just die. Oh god, that was a little bit overpowered. I am gonna head out to that sign out there because I am actually wanting to know what is out there. And plus, I can get back up here. So let's just hop onto here. I swear to God, there's anglers out here somewhere. There's ooh. There's also a chest. Well, I'll definitely take. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Where, where was it? Stick that back in there. Oh, ported advanced. That's my second advanced one. Interesting. Sarah, there is a bed here, but I don't trust it one little bit. Okay, good news already. So let's hop in the water. Careful Hope. Now. Who knows what's gonna For once, I'm gonna have to have to agree with you there, Longfellow. But actually. Head out to this little boat out here first, because this is where you pass when the uh, when the boat takes you out into Far Harbor. So get up. There we go. What is even in here? Well, there's nothing on this boat. So in that case, what's on this island? First time I've ever been on this island. Welcome to Far Harbor. That looks like a B, not an F. It's just cut off. Is there even anything up here, or am I seriously just wasting my bloody time? No, there is actually a chest out here. And some poor dead lady. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, not a usual crappy kind of chest, but... Hey, at least it rewards you for using your initiative and actually coming out here. Ah. There are some anglers in here, though. Well, this one... You know what? This one can take a plasma grenade. And throw... That did absolutely nothing. Alright, where's he gone? Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. No, dodge. Dodge, man, dodge. Okay, then. I should not have... Please don't tell me you're going to burst out of the water. I just want the lure weed. Nothing else. And is the simp in here? No, he is not. But there is a... Wait, where is that blood trial? Hmm. There's a trail of blood. Where? There's no... There's also some liquor bottles, why not? There is a trail of blood, apparently, but my character's just too dumb enough to actually look. He must be colorblind. Where, where is this... Alright, I'm just gonna follow the quest marker, because I don't know exactly where this blood is. It seems to be the invisible synth blood, so let's just follow this. Assuming I don't get a... Oh! That, now that's a lot of blood. Just once, let me find a pair of socks that don't have holes in them. We'll get new socks. Now I'm starting to see the blood. And it's leading to an old abandoned house here. Why do I get the feeling that this is not going to end well? Fresh meat, crawling in from the fog. Don't care if it's my lurk or man. Hey, buddy, get a sarcastic response. What if it's a Meyer Lurk man? Hey, that would be a great name for a superhero. Leave! Or die. I don't want trouble, people, but yeah, you eat people? Oh, dude, you're cannibals? We... survive. I'm not looking for trouble. I just need to find someone. A young man with white hair. You help me, I'll leave. Yeah, we found him. One of the fog's creatures already attacked him. He was bleeding out, but... You know, why waste the meat? Here. Well, what's left? Take it. 
<laughs> now go. Don't come back. Missing Simp's head? No, 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 no. Oh, you, you lot just don't get to get away with that. Longfellow, I would move. Yep, let's do this. And then do this. That's what you free bastards get. Thanks for that. Keep no, saying you're myself, welcome. I should settle down someday. I think I missed the boat on that one. So we got a missing since head. Uh, uh, somehow I get the feeling Chase is not going to be very, very happy to, to, for me to like give that to her. But whatever. Is there anything else up here, by the way? Other than a bit of uh, loot? No. All right, let's head back up to Beaver Creek Lanes because I want to go inside there and have a look. All right, Beaver Creek Lanes. I might... Uh, I'll get out the shotgun because this seems to be ghoul central. Like that. Always good. Always good. You know what, actually? Yes. Now, now I'm ready for ghoul hunting. Where are you going? Oh, hello, Roma. Yeah, you can... You can just die by my telepathic powers. Anybody else? No, I'm back in the hidden. There's got to be more people over here. Ooh. Legendary stalker. I won't resist the urge to, uh, to pick a part of... Um, I feel like I may have screwed up here. Oh, get your arm ripped off. Hunter's combat rifle. You know what? I am actually after a combat rifle. Eventually. I feel like that one shouldn't be the one I should have. Uh, nothing good there. Longfellow, get, get out of the way. I'm looting. And there is a wooden crate. Is there any traps on it? No. Alright, what is in... I'm going to take a bet and say whatever is in this, should I open it, is going to be molotovs and grenades. I'm guessing. Well, I did I did say grenades. I was, well, I was a little bit close. Now, there was another legendary. Somewhere around... That can't... Hello! This place is legendary central right here. And go. Oh, yes. You got a... Ooh, pow uh, that's crappy powered, powered gear. Now, that's the second legendary. Where's the third one? This is legendary central right here. And no, you don't get the stand up. And get ripped apart. What did you have? Rad powered... God damn it. That is some of... Well, apart from the combat rifle, is some of the shittiest bloody legendary weapons I could possibly get. Uh, never mind, though. You got a bobby pin. Let's head inside and see if the legendary gear is any different. Oh, uh, this place looks creepy as hell. Keep out the... Uh, keep out the meat hook for now. Are you kidding? That's four legendaries in one place so far. I like this air area. And there's also something behind here. More essentially, there is a radio to go turn off. Alright, I got rid of the radio. I am getting attacked by, uh, by ghouls, but... Yeah, they're not giving me that much damage. I was just about to say, were you another legendary then? And there's also a frag mine here. You know what? Let's just get rid of him. Look at this I'll glitch him in the door. Now, what is this place? Cash register unlocked advanced. Uh, not advanced. Unlocked expert, which I obviously can't do. Now, where was that legendary? I would really love another legendary. Hello. 
Are you a ninja ninja feral, are you? Well, you're a dead ninja feral. Bloody popping. Uh, no. Sit back down, please. Are you gonna hop down from the roof like your buddy up there? Really long fellow. Where is that legendary? Uh, that's a reaver. I'll be drinking a toast to your corpse. You missed. That's another reaver. Yeah, where was the legendary I just saw? There was totally a legendary. Oh, they. Oh, there you are. Uh oh. Just get one shotted, please. And what did you have? Sprinter's Metal Oh, come on. Four legendaries in one place, and they've all proceeded to give me some of the most shittiest legendary gear I've I've ever gotten. I will take some more duct tape, though. Duct tape's never a bad thing. Hmm, up or down? Up or down? I'll go down due to the fact that there is a ghoul coming out. Who obviously is a very poor perceptive ghoul. Hello, who's back here? What are you? You are just another shitty reaver. I am gonna get tons of viable blood samples out of this one area alone. It's gonna be madness. Oh, and we've also got our first Vim. Which is uh which is good, I guess. Right, there is a door leading up. And then that's where we came back out. Hi. Ugh. I bloody messed the ghoul. Should I go up there? Yeah, why not? It's gonna be dead if it wakes up anyway. No. This is actually a, a quite dead one. Okay then, there's also a telephone. A bit of acid, a terminal. And play the tape. Gotta record this so I don't forget later. After we closed up for the day, you know, Matt and I split a couple of pictures while cleaning the pin setters. And we got to talking about Thomas. I, I just can't believe he's gonna be stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. And now, I, you know, he ain't never gonna have the chance, you know, to pull that perfect game he's been so close to. So it's like a quarter of three. And we're shooting the balls back up the return, checking the motors and all, and we get this, you know, this really good idea. Well, Thomas's arms still work, so maybe we can use one of them ball returns, but you know, we'll hook it up to a stronger motor, and mount it on a board or something. He could launch the balls out of it, yeah, and down the lane, it'd be like a, like an awesome bowling gun. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere I get the feeling that that didn't end well. Judging from the, the giant ass hole in the wall. What the hell kind of contraption is that? Oh, that is the kind of contraption that I damn well like. We have got the Striker. A 50% chance to cripple the target's leg. It is basically a, a fat man that fires bowling balls. Oh, I'm gonna like this. I will take some modified bowling balls. These are heavy, but... Admittedly, I'm not going to be using this a hell of a lot, so, you know, why not? Right, now, now I want to really go and, and test this thing out. Let's actually go and equip the striker. 149 damage. Where is a ghoul? I need to test this for myself. Hello, ghouls. I haven't killed you all yet. I'm pretty sure of that. And there is just some jet in there. Hello? Any ghouls in here? Don't hide from me now. Now that I've got an actual weapon I can use, they now will go back into hiding. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, fog ghoul. Have a bowling ball. Oh, good God. Okay. I officially like this gun. I'm willing, I'm willing to take it out in replacement of the harpoon gun. 
Okay, that comes back around here. So, yeah, we're, we're done in here. We've completed everything, and we've got a new weapon that I can possibly have a little bit of fun with, at least. I mean, like, it is, a, it is like this. You can't expect to not have fun with it. And what is that I see there? A Vim refresh and another Vim. I will take that. And, ooh. Also a Nuka-Cola machine. Why do I get the feeling these two soft drinks shouldn't have been within the same... Same uh, area as each other. Alright, back at Far Harbor. Need to drop off this quest to, uh... Need to drop off this quest to Avery if this bastard to get out of my way. I hope Howard's okay. Howard's, Howard's kind of dead. Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? Yeah, he's kind of my alert food. He's my alert food. I should never have let him go out there alone. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. No, I don't need to ask for more money, you bloody greedy bastard. Thanks. Glad I could help you out. That makes two of us. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Safe, pass safe passage has now been completed, and we have leveled up, which I may, may as well uh, take right now. So level 89. We have got a whole load of stuff I could take. Reloading guns cost no action points in vats. That is actually pretty damn good. I could take Robotics Expert. That doesn't seem too bad yet. Could take more ranks of this. Could take a rank of Heavy Gunner. Uh, you know what? I reckon the action point cost is uh, pretty good right now. We'll go for Quick Hands 2. And 10 additional action points. I may well think about that. Alright, now that that's all done, I am going to head up into the, uh, head deeper into the island. We're going to make a quick stop at the Older Sea Day Spa to, uh, collect a flesh sample for the Institute. And then we're going to head up and we're going to clear Dalton Farm out of that lovely innocent fog crawler that killed good old gam Grandpa George. And I think we should be done for today, so... Let's head up to Older Sea Day Spa, and I'll do the, uh, I'll go to Cliff's Edge Hotel another time, because that is actually a, a pretty long quest. Lots of ghouls, but yeah, I don't really want to do it today. Instead, let's just explore the island, going up this way to see what we've got. And hello, we've got something already. It's not a major location. It has got lights. Lights usually means this is a trap. It's always a trap. I don't trust this area one little bit. What the hell was that? Was that just... That was a stinking barnacle. Right, that's, uh, that's Longfellow's Island over there. I may as well go and do those two islands there at one point. But first, I'm a little bit more interested if I can get back up the cliff, maybe. There we go. I am more interested what's going on at this place since this place has got lights. Lights usually mean a trap. Because anything in this game is certainly not a trap. Well, someone was, uh playing with grenades on the toilet, maybe they wanted to take an explosive poop. There's no Vim. Ooh, oh, well, whoa. That, uh, that's some high-level ghouls right there. I think this deserves some, uh, plasma, plasma grenades to get rid of them. So, here you go. Number one. Number two, and shut the door. Yeah, not feeling so full of yourself now, are ya? And... We're back into... Here to, no, we're still detected. Are you? No, you're not one. You're just a shitty fog ghoul. Okay. 
What did you? You, you are kidding me. You are absolutely kidding me. A two-shot gauze rifle. Oh, this is the mother of all weapons you could have possibly given me game. 690 base damage. Oh, I am... I am going to have that in my inventory next next time we do a, I do a video. That is the best thing I could have possibly been given. Everybody's always heard about a two-shot gauze rifle, but no one's... I've never seen any videos on anybody ever getting one. And I just pick it off, pick it off, off this uh, random ghoul. Wow. Okay, now I, I desperately have to go save right now. Because knowing my luck, something's going to kill me. And I, I'm going to lose this precious, precious thing that I've just, I've just obtained. Where, where is the nearest bed? There's something up here, which I may as well go... Aha! I think I know where I am. This is a place you have to come for a quest. It's safe, and I know it has some beds. And, as far as what I do also know, this place also has an almanac. God damn. Trapper lost his head and his leg. Oh, hello, bed traps. Uh, I didn't really catch on what Ken just said. Uh, not Ken. I didn't catch on what Longfellow said there. Viable blood sample. Is is this dude called Ken here by any chance? Yes? No? There's crops here. Can I... You cannot use this workshop yet. Fine. I know for a fact that there is an almanac in here, which is right here. Hell yeah. You have now unlocked sludge-based recipes at the chemistry station. I like that. I don't know what a what a sludge recipe is, but if I find a uh, find a chemistry station, I may as well go take a look. Yeah, and just immediately save. I now have a two-shot gauze rifle in my arsenal, which I will be replacing with the current shitty one that I've got. Is my, my current one, is it even legendary? Oh no, it's Assassin's. It's Assassin's, uh... Assassin's Gauss Rifle, or I think it's... It's either Gauss or it's Gauss. No one's, like, really determined it. But anyway... Now, we are gonna head up to the Aldersea Day Spa, assuming I can get back on the ride, uh, on the road, because I don't trust this area by any means possible. There's also something over, over here. The game was pointing it out. Anything? No? Is this just a settlement that just got blown apart or something? Uh, ooh, there's a mile of kill claw over there. I wouldn't actually mind killing it. I completely missed. Right Alright, let's just switch over to something better. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was. Whatever, let's head up to the day spa now. Ow! Ow! I am getting my literal ass kicked right- You know what? Have it! Ah ha ha, you've dropped your weapon. I'm out of action points. Will you stop? My god, these these, pe these people. I think I just ripped his face off. Come on. You you and that stinking freaking fire iron need to die. Did anyone mention how much I love this meat hook? It's just like the the best weapon to rip people's faces off. What was even in here anyway? There was nothing, wasn't there? Like there usually is. 
Alright, now, now I'm really getting sidetracked right here. I'm focusing more on killing people rather than focusing on my main objective. Alright, Aldersea Day Spa is a super mutant encampment. Although we should have already known that if I was coming here to get a flesh sample. So that's just a basic mutant up there. He's now dead. So I don't think there's really anything good here. It's just a point of interest location. So running in and just murdering... I, uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Where is that? Where is that suicider? Where? Take it out, please! Oh, the pretty white light of a nuclear explosion is soothing. It really is soothing and quite horrifying. Oh, suiciders. They're as flimsy as hell, but if they get close to you, they can mess you up properly. You can die. Just get your head shot off. No big deal. Uh, 50 caliber, femur, yeah, there's nothing real good. Alright, inside we go. This is the sound of your death. I'm pretty sure I've said that about many, 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 many times now. But... Are you the mo You are the most poor perceptive super mutant I've ever seen in my life. He ran right past me. And now he's about to get minced. Yes, mince him. Mince him good. Ow. Will you stop hitting me? Hit him. Cut his head off. Come on. There we go. I cut something off. Oh. Hello, Super Mutant Overlord. You can have a critical. And now I'll switch over to the explosive rad rifle. You are dead. And what do you have? Lucky lever action. I am getting some of the best weaponry I've seen in a while. Yeah, critical shots do double damage. That is actually not a bad thing. And if I remember correctly, when I was looking around Arcadia, I believe the two-shot lever action rifle is also there. So... Whoever's watching, let me know in the comments if, uh, in your opinion, if a if a explosive lever action or a two shot lever action is uh, like how they compare and is it better? Because if it is better, I might consider actually going to go buy it. And I am finally, I finally went overweight from all the stuff I picked up. I finally went overweight. Alright, nothing in that safe as usual, just generic crap. Uh, there is mutant how many- ooh, towels. And, ooh, and death. Towels and death. That, that's... Alright, there is another warlord downstairs, which I'm guessing is my ultimate target. And, ooh, I will take a bathrobe too. Don't get a chance to get many of them. Okay, yeah, let's just... No, that's back out to the island, so... Hang on. In that case, how do I get down... Oh, I'm an idiot. Don't, don't worry about what I just said, I'm just an idiot. This guy loves talking to himself, doesn't he? Oh, there is a lot of... No, no mutant hounds today. Hello, warlord. Oh, he has one of those things, does he? Well, death is he for you, my dear sir. It popped his head like an ice cream. If that even makes any sense. Right, with that all over, we can get our tissue sample. And get the older day see uh, day spa thing. And I believe... The music has stopped, and we are indeed done. Older Sea Day Spa has been cleaned out, and I'm pretty sure that is, uh, what the 
freaking hell is going on? No, the towels have been ruined. God. I don't really care about the towels anyway. My character's never complained, so I won't complain with him. Alright, last thing I'm going to do now is we're going to head up to that national campground HQ place thing. And we're going to go clear that out from yet more super mutants. That's a skirmisher. You don't even... Do Ow, what the... F Will you just go away? Yeah, back here, dumbass. That's what you get for attacking me with your shitty little board. Alright, this place is dark as hell. With a lot of meat bags in it. What are the chances I'm going to get a legendary in here and this guy's going to have some form of bloody... I got a legendary. What are the chances this guy's going to have something like a... A two-shot freaking... I don't know, a two-shot pistol or something. This guy hurts. Die already. God damn. You had an exterminator's combat armor. Ooh. Combat armor chest piece. Interesting. And I'm now back overweight again. Well, this is what I have drugs for. So let's take a good old fashioned psycho buff. I have now become addicted from all psycho chems. Well, I need to, uh. Let's take an addict doll. Roll all the way back down and take some more water. Fucking cow! And now my character says that. Good on ya. Alright, where are the rest of you? Because I can guarantee you that should not have all been here. It's gotta be more than that. And there's another Primus. And he's also got a board, which doesn't do well for him. His head goes pop. Fine bit of exercise, that. Yeah, his head's kind of popped. Oh, you're just a shitty enforcer. You're not gonna last very long, my dear sir. Where are you? You're a mutant hound. So you can immediately just die. And activate that chain to back outside and... Oh no. No, 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 no. Die. And there's also an... Oh, that's a warlord with a minigun. Okay, he needs to die right now. Now this is what... Oh shit. No! What was that? So that's what a le that's what a assassin scores rifle does to a warlord. I can just imagine what the hell the Will you go away? Oh tag teamed. God damn. If that is what a gauze rifle does to a warlord, I can just imagine what a two-shot gauze rifle is going to do to a warlord. It's going to rip his body apart piece by piece. So, we haven't quite done Cliff's Edge or Dalton Farm, but I am going to leave this video here for right now. Next time, I'm going to go do Gal Dalton Farm to uh, get that place unlocked as a next another settlement. I might even... You know what? Next time we're gonna head over to Eagle Tove, Eagle, Eagle's Cove Tannery first, because I want to pick up some stuff over there, including the power tools. We're gonna loop back around to the Oceanarium to see what that place is. We're gonna go do Dalton Farm, and then from there I am going to run back, and we are going to go go into uh, Cliff's Edge. And solve the, uh, do the quest in there, which I believe is another vault. So in between this and next part, um, I'll start up here if there's any beds. If not, I will probably start back at Far Harbor. Or we'll see what happens. I think there is, there is some beds in here, isn't there? Yes, I know there's beds in here for a super mutant, but is there beds for a normal person? 
Alright, if there isn't, uh, I'll just go back to the visitor's centre and we'll speak about this next time. So drop a like, leave a comment, let me know if there's something you'd like to see down in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next video.